Welcome, Julie, and thank you for offering to teach a class for Women Heal the World on November 29th at 5 p.m. Well, I wanted to introduce you to everybody. So Julie Daly is a writer, teacher, and coach, and she her website is Unabashedly Female, and Julie takes fabulous pictures. I highly recommend you go and read her beautiful writings, her her blog and her photos. Thank so you. Julie, you are doing a class for us and it's going to be a I like to call it a pay it forward class where you're going to talk about embracing womanhood and about the divine feminine rising and then the money that people pay to participate in your class is twenty dollars and that is going to go directly to Kiva so it's a hundred percent pay it forward and what we're going to do with our women heal the world account at Kiva is I'll try to use all that money and support a woman in a to, to start her own business and that way we create a ripple effect so I find what you're what you you and I have had some conversations that are that are fascinating and you talk about the sacred feminine emerging. Can you share a little bit more about what you mean by that so that we can touch on some of the things you'll talk about in this class? Certainly. Um, the sacred feminine is something I think that most of us feel on many different levels, coming, uh, rising, coming into being. Um, not only within our own selves as women, but in the culture, in everybody. Because mm -hmm. the feminine is, a, is an aspect of life, obviously, as well as the masculine. It's in all of life, and then the feminine also is embodied within women, the sacred feminine. Um, so we notice in our culture and in the world today that we're beginning to shift to a new way of being that is more collaborative, mm -hmm. more creative, um, Inclusive, honoring diversity, that's been something that's been coming. But we also see certain levels of revolution in the world where it's very peaceful, but very fierce in holding that there is a new way to be in the world that is based on love, based on uh, collective wisdom, and coming together. So that in itself is um, evidence of a feminine way of being coming into emergence. And I should say that... I, my sense is, and listening to many teachers, that the feminine is coming back into being in a new form of feminine so that we can come into balance with both the masculine and the feminine. Mm -hmm. So it's not like women taking over the world and men now are going to be, you know, down. It's like mm -hmm. all of us coming together to be in balance and in mm -hmm. harmony and working together. Uh, and another thing I wanted to point out was that the women were at peace is a great example. Uh, it's a it's a testament to what you're talking about in terms of how women have come together in some countries and have stopped the violence. They're banding together and they're stepping up where they've never done that before. Yeah. Uh, Liberia. So those are available for people to look at if they want to see it live right. uh, webcast on Women War and Peace. It's a PBS special. So there is evidence of this, especially Absolutely. with these uprisings. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and I also wonder what it would be like for all of us to come together, for women to really come together in community um, to serve life. Much of what you are doing here with, with Women Heal, Heal the World, mm. that in some ways we can come together in these groups and communities and we can contribute funds to help women around the world, but there's a shared voice. That's and, beautiful. And Say more sense, about that, shared voice. Well, my sense of the feminine is that it is about preserving life at all costs. Mm. And you see women around the world beginning to do that. Um, wait a minute, you know, enough with the de degradation of the earth, enough war, enough rape, enough of all of these awful things that are happening around the world. We are here to uphold life. Life is sacred. Mm -hmm. And I think that embodiment of the sacred feminine for women is about that aspect of women that does 
whole nourish and nurture life. Mm. A woman's body is where spirit comes into matter. Mm -hmm. Somebody who speaks on that very eloquently is Llewellyn Von Lee, a Sufi sheikh, and he talks about the substance in women that is only in women that the world needs right now. So that's the other aspect of awakening the sacred feminine, helping women to realize that all of their being is sacred, Mm -hmm. the body is sacred, um, and that we have this beautiful, amazing connection with the earth as women, that that there is is a sacredness to matter that we have forgotten. You want to talk about qualities of the sacred feminine in, in more, a little bit more? I think one of the really important qualities is receptivity. Yeah. is being receptive, is taking in, right? Mm-hmm. Holding. Um, it, one of them is, is realizing the connection, the web of life, right? That we are all connected, so that shared voice. Um, one of them would be nourishment and nurturing. <clears throat> Honoring life. Mm-hmm. Cre- creativity. A, a sacred creativity in a woman's body, right? It would, the womb, our womb, is actually um, the embodiment of the big womb uh-huh. that life comes into manifestation through. Uh-huh. That's wonderful. Um, and one of the other pieces, I know you do a lot of work with the work, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. And I love um, loving what is. Oh, yes. So a lot of my work with women is to learn to love what is. I am here in a female body. Yes. How much do I love this body? Can I love this body? Can I love the, the, not only the legs and the arms and the face and the breasts, but also all of the female parts, the genitalia that is so much a part of pleasure for me and of mm-hmm. giving birth. Mm-hmm. And there's been so much in the world that degrades. You know, you told me another time we were talking about your thesis, can you talk a little bit about what the subject of your thesis, and was that at Berkeley or Stanford? Where did you go? Stanford. Stanford. Okay. So share um, a little bit more about that, because I think you're, you were an early, you were talking about it earlier. What did you say, 10 years ago you got that, you, you wrote your thesis? 2000 and 2001, right. Yeah. Uh, spirituality and the Internet. Mm-hmm. On, um, part of my degree was computer science and, and design, so... I wanted to create a space on the on the internet that could feel spiritual in nature and wondered if people had ever connected to God on the internet. But on a deeper level also, it was about realizing that the connection that the, is the internet is actually a manifestation of the divine. Mm. Um, that if spirituality is, who knows what it is, it's used so often, right? How do we really define it? But to me, it is knowing we are one we are connected, that the same life force that is in you looking out your eyes is the same life force that's looking out my eyes. Yes. And you realize there's no separation. It's much harder to do the things we do um, to defend ourselves. So the thesis was um, really creating a space and then looking at the question of can the Internet actually connect us with like-minded people and help us to remember that we are one and the same spirit. And it, at the end of the thesis, I really could see that we need to take what we do on the internet back into physical life. Mm. One other thing I wanted to ask you is what longing will will this call to the sacred feminine or what will it honor? Great, great. Yeah. My sense is that many, if not most women, are feeling a longing to know self. Mm. Uh-huh. No self at the deepest level uh-huh. to be at home in the body to realize that fundamental co- connection with the earth and and that fundamental collect- connection with other women yes that is something that I think is is a deep part of the feminine is to be comfortable with not just comfortable with other women but really to have a sense of a deep love for other women. And it's something we've been enculturated away from, Uh but there's there's a longing for that. Uh So if, you know, there's even a voice inside of us that is moving us that way, is prodding and pushing us to 
to look inside, to know who we are, to connect with other women, to connect with the earth. So if women are feeling that longing at all, it would be great to have them on the call because I think that just coming together is an honoring of that longing, simply the act of coming together. We'll look forward to hearing you on our call, and that's November 29th at 5 p.m. Pacific Time. And it's $20 donation to Kiva. So it's a good thing if they come.